Hi, welcome to TLAC. Uh, we're in the micro uh, light maintenance hangar again uh, for part two of the uh, wing restoration for a Sherwood Ranger. So in this video uh, you're going to see how we make up the leading edges and fit them to a Sherwood Ranger biplane uh, wing. Hello and welcome to TLAC, the light aircraft company based at Little Snoring in Norfolk. Right, we have a dustbin full of water with um, the sections of leading edge in soaking. Uh, so we soak those for about uh, 12 hours or thereabouts. Then uh, right, they, get, uh, they get put into a forming jig and allowed to dry, which uh, gives them the right shape. Uh, it is uh, a pair which have already been uh, been soaked so they've got got the shape in them to allow them to overlap they've got uh, scarfing done on it uh, that's done up on a machine upstairs for uh, I'll, uh, I'll show you a little clip of uh, how that operates so this is our, our scarfing machine uh, that we use, utilize to uh, to do the, the scarf on the thin ply. Uh, normally we have a vacuum cleaner operating out there, that makes way too much noise. I'm just going to quickly show you uh, one strip without using the vacuum and uh, hopefully you get the idea how it operates. dust which as I said normally would be done with a vacuum but all it is is it's a drum on the end of a, an angle, small angle uh, bench grinder uh, which we can adjust uh, with a feather board on the end and you can sort of see we've got it set so it does an angle so we can get repeat that angle on every single piece it makes life so easy you can sort of see how parallel those are it's just where it slips slightly because I'm doing this with one hand but even that's minor and so we end up with a nice scarf that will fit one on top of the other So there we have the uh, first two sections of leading edge on the, I don't know if you can see it on the time lapse, we actually put tape over the joints here. Uh, this glue that we're using is a water based uh, PU glue. Uh, that's, a, that's the stuff that we actually use. And uh, it <coughs> expands as it, uh, as it cures uh, with moisture, so we'll end up with a a sort of foamy bean, it's just starting to do that already in the background. I doubt you'll see that with the light we've got at the moment. That has its positive and its negative fact that you end up with a load of stuff you've got to cut off if it goes too too much like quater mass. Now we've got these battens on to uh, put pressure equally along the false spar with these bunges here and these uh, clamp sections are holding everything in place. You can sort of see here that the glue is trying to uh, do its own own thing it can get a little bit exciting uh, and if you're not careful it can cause a bit of an issue with our uh, feathered edges on the uh, or scarfed ed ends on the 
on the ply, so we need to clean that up before we put the last piece on. Uh, we just run out of bungees and uh, well, sections to do that. And so two, we do two at one, two at a time anyway. You start running out of time with the glue. Uh, and it starts curing at one end and it all becomes a bit rushed. So uh, shortly uh, we'll take out uh, the leading edge section which is going to go onto this wing uh, to finish this wing off and to start on the other wing and we'll uh, elastic band that so it can make sure that the air gets around where it's around the tubes so it uh, does its sort of final bit of dry and it sort of relaxes a little bit which allows us to uh, put it onto the wing so there we go uh, we'll see how we get on I'll show you uh, hopefully the uh, sort of finished uh, leading edge right this is the, uh, the leading edge in position uh, I've just centered down this one very 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 uh, slight step there uh, hardly feel, you can hardly feel it, it'll be lost underneath the covering. Uh, tape on this one the same way. This section here will need to be, uh, need to, to settle down, so we're not going to take that off now until tomorrow. Uh, and tomorrow, once that's uh, cured, uh, I need to go through the, the wing and uh, scull about uh, the sections. Uh, there's a note here that, the, that we don't scull about the bottom of this section. Uh, because uh, we have a panel that goes on there, or there is a panel that goes on there uh, for accessing where the interplane struts go. So, uh, if there's a uh, bottom wing, we wouldn't scallop that one, and on the uh, top wing, we don't scallop the bottom. Well, at least that's our plan. Uh, cutting the scallops into uh, the, the uh, wing leading edges, so there's one we've done. Uh, we use an aluminium. Uh, jig piece. Set that up into uh, into position using a, a sharp craft knife. Uh, fresh tip on it. I cut. Uh, I start the cut from one direction. Just light pressure. Go from the other side. Once you've got a few scores in there, you just put a little bit more pressure on. That's that cut. And then with a little bit of sandpaper, just dress up the edge of it. Like that, and that's that done. Okay, when it comes to uh, cutting this thin plywood, I, I use a, uh, a Tamiya uh, saw. It's a pull saw, very thin blade pull saw. Uh, when you're cutting thin ply, a pull saw is what you want. So if you can't afford a Japanese pull saw, one of these Tamiya modelling saws, which is uh, set up as a pull blade, is ideal. I'm going to leave a little step out here so that the customer can put in whatever supports they want. And that's it. The pull saw just cuts through this plywood without any issue at all. So uh, use that to cut all the way around and uh, across the grain. The perfect method for dealing with uh, with that rather than trying to get around there with a craft knife which could wander. Uh, the rear section of the wing here, uh, on both the upper and lower wing, in this case is the upper wing, this is the, you know, the sort of bow above the pilot's head composite piece put on again with high sole uh, bonded in, in position well that's it uh, for the leading edge section uh, pretty much this uh, the repair wing is now uh, fixed uh, so it can go back to the customer and they can uh, do the final bit of uh, work required before they cover it and fit it to their aircraft they've still got a lot more work yet to do on the uh, on the new build wing in the format of getting the aileron closure and things uh, sorted out.
Remember TLAC when it comes to the time for your aircraft to be serviced or repaired. Work carried out by competent mechanics and inspected by qualified engineers. We also deal with Shark, C-42 and Oratex.